The patients often have a question around diet and what they should do in terms of diet when dealing with cancer or when undergoing cancer treatments. Um, and in fact, I have a very different perspective on diet and the role that it plays in, 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 in treating the cancer. So diet on its own, I, I, you know, I have to say diet on its own can't cure cancer. And that's really important to know. And a lot of people will have this idea um, that diet or juicing or, you know, these different types of um, claims that are made on the internet that juicing and diet can cure the cancer. And that is a dangerous game to play. I think diet is a very important component of cancer care and there should be some emphasis on diet, but it, sh it certainly isn't um, a cure in and of itself. So there are a lot of diet um, plans online or, or diet scheme strategies that, that patients will hear about and um, they'll often ask me questions around, you know, what diet is the best one to, to follow. There's alkaline diet, there's the Gerson diet. Um, there's the paleo diet or ketogenic diet. My general dietary approach is to follow a low glycemic, is to advise patients to follow a low glycemic diet. And what that means is you're choosing foods that are whole food based, n very nutrient dense, but don't raise the blood sugar too high. So it's basically like an anti-diabetes kind of diet without using any kind of artificial or processed foods or very, very small amounts of those types of foods in the diet. There's a focus on uh, making sure that there's good macronutrient balance with the food selection. So for instance, choosing healthy proteins, um, healthy fats, healthy complex carbohydrates and combining those foods in such a way that it maintains your glucose balance throughout the day. That's a, a, a good dietary approach because it reduces the inflammation in the body. And we know that inflammation is a hallmark of cancer. It's definitely a driver of cancer as a disease. Um, and not just cancer, but a lot of different diseases, um, certainly diabetes, cardiovascular disease, we're learning that inflammation is often at the root of a lot of these uh, chronic disease issues. And so this type of diet approach makes sense for not just cancer, but a lot of different types of diseases or prevention um, of diseases. Patients definitely feel better when they're following this low glycemic diet and it's manageable. So it's not something that, it, that is extreme. Patients want to add in juicing, um, as long as those juices don't spike their blood sugar too high, then those types of approaches are, are reasonable to augment that low glycemic diet.